I started the Australian Twin Registry some 40 years ago. In the course of that, I became aware that twins, particularly non-identical twins, uh, run strongly in families. And so I got more and more intrigued by this and decided to actually study uh, the causes of non-identical twinning. We've discovered seven genes that uh, influence the chance of a woman having twins. And we can see quite a few others just under the radar, just under the significance level. This is the, the, the chip uh, that we use, and each one of those patches can genotype a single person, and every one of those patches can type about actually 760,000 different gene variants. And here's the follicle stimulating hormone, hormone gene, and here's the follicle stimulating hormone receptor, which is another one of our findings. Most of these are influencing what we uh, know is the ovulation pathway. And uh, from what we know of that pathway, there are quite a few other genes. I think there could be dozens more. I think our finding uh, d defines a dimension, an axis of female fertility and that what I've been studying, what we've been studying, is the top end of that, the women who've got who've super fertile, if you like. That same axis and the way we actually calculate that risk can be uh, looked at at the other end of the scale uh, to see whether it actually predicts infertility. Uh, and we've got preliminary evidence that that is indeed the case. So I think in terms of predicting which women are at risk of infertility, uh, it's actually gonna be quite useful. It was a huge surprise for us. Uh, we did not expect it at all. And the ultrasound technician was like, oh, do you have twins in the family? And we were like, no, what do you mean? <laughs> I think I just blanked out. I'm very keen to try and recruit uh, more mothers of twins into the study, uh, mothers of dizygotic twins. And in fact, uh, whereas I used to only want the mothers who had had them spontaneously, actually now, that we've got this result on about infertility. I'm just as keen to get the women who've had um, uh, non-identical twins produced by uh, assisted reproductive techniques, by IVF or whatever, because they can actually help to find the other end of that, of that axis. I know that it's also related to fertility. We have seen many friends struggle with that, so I think that's very important. All we ask is to do about a two-minute questionnaire about, uh, about your twins and how you had them, whether there are other twins in your family and whether you're willing to give us a saliva sample. And if you are, then we make all the arrangements and it costs you nothing and it costs you about, about five minutes of your time. Gene studies to be meaningful just need so, so many participants. And I think it's really valuable. The more uh, mothers of twins we can include in the study, the stronger uh, uh, predictive ability will become and that's what we're trying to do to, to really make that as, as accurate as possible. We have met people who had twins and then had twins again and they were four. Yeah, no. We are done. We are done. <laughs>